Well, hey there, everybody, the X viewers. You're watching the main man channel. It's not just a name, it's a way of life. You got to improvise, adapt, and overcome each and every day just to make it in this cruel old world. Appreciate y'all watching as always. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Check me out on all my social media. Links will be in the description. Sign up for a Glock 19 giveaway. Sign up for the 5,000 subscriber giveaway. And sign up for whatever month knife giveaway is going on. And that should be the uh, July month knife giveaway. Anyway, that being said, topic today's video is, is uh, I have a burn barrel outside that uh, I got a couple years ago from a place I worked. It was actually the uh, last manufacturing place I worked. It was, uh, but anyway, it was a barrel that let me bring home. So I took that barrel and uh, it needed some uh, holes in it. It needs some holes in it where, uh, you know, it can breathe and the water can drain out and everything. And it had a couple in the bottom originally. And I figured that would be enough. But the thing about it was I got stopped up with ash and soot and stuff from over the years. So I said, well, what way have I actually uh, perforated burn barrels before and put holes in them? Well, I've shot them with 45 and before so uh, i said well it's kind of full of stuff and full of water too so we want to make sure we get enough penetration so i decided to pull out the m p 2.0 4.6 inch 10 millimeter and uh, i said well what am i we going to use i said well i hadn't tried this yet so i've got some of this uh, blazer brass and, well, it's not really bra brass, it's blazer ammunition, it's aluminum. And, uh, let's see here. If I can get it opened up here. And we'll pull it out and take a look, look at it. And it's, uh, I believe, yep, it is 200 grain full metal jacket. So aluminum, 200 grain full metal jacket, flat nose. That's what it looks like. So, uh, we're going to go out there and see what it'll do on that burn drum. And let's see if we can put about five holes. We'll take five of them out there. Put about five good holes in it. We'll aim at the side. That way it gets holes on the side. And then we'll actually make sure that it aims down and it comes out the bottom of the barrel. So it gets holes at the bottom of the barrel too. So that ought to put us ten good holes in there. Let's, let's see what happens. Okay, folks. Yep, I thought this uh, burn barrel had holes in the bottom already, but it don't. So it's got quite a bit of water in it. And that's not good if I'm going to burn up all this crap that's in it. So what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to take that M&P 10 millimeter. And uh, I've got safety glasses on and i got hearing protection. We're going to get back away from it a little bit and we're going to see if we can't put some put some burn holes in this thing here we go up oh, there's one put one on this end Let's see if we can two Let's get one about right here. We'll try to shoot and where to go through the bottom as well. Well, I shot that pretty low. That works. Let's get one right here. And I think I got one more. Let's do one right here. All right, that's five. That all worked pretty good as burn holes, and I'm sure it made some at the bottom as well. So, uh, that I'll do pretty good, I believe. All right. Well, good burn hole maker in these old burn drums. <laughs> 